Welcome to the second video on the chain rule. In this video, we're going to warm up by doing a couple more easy chain rule problems, and then we're going to practice some problems where we have to actually use multiple rules. Maybe we have to do a double chain rule or um, use both the chain rule and the product rule. So you'll have to combine the rules together. Okay, so just a reminder, this is what our chain rule is. It basically tells us that when we have a function that has multiple layers or is the composition of functions, then um, what we do is we take the derivative of the outside function and then multiply it by the derivative of the inside function. Another way that we often see this written is df dx, so this is using differential notation, equals df du times du dx. It's just another way that we see that chain rule written. Okay, so um, let's look at this first example here. So we're supposed to find the derivative of z, which is um, 4x to the fifth minus 3 all raised to the fourth power. So here our inside function is that function inside the parentheses, which is 4x to the fifth minus 3. Okay, so what the chain rule says is in order to find the derivative, we take the derivative of the outside function first, so that's the derivative of the power function, and then we multiply by the derivative of the inside function. Okay, so before we actually start taking the derivative, let's remind ourselves how we're going to write the name of the derivative. So our variable here is z, and it's a z equals function, so we're going to use the differential notation, so it's going to be dz dx, because our variable here is x. Okay, so what the chain rule tells us is that we're going to take the derivative of the outside function, the derivative of the power first, so power rule says, okay, I bring that exponent down in front, and then I'm going to have my inside function raised to the third power. So I'm just going to write inside here. And then I'm going to multiply by the derivative of the inside function. Okay, so remember when we see this d dx, that means take the derivative. Okay? So here we have 4 times the 4x to the 5th minus 3, and we're multiplying by the derivative of that 4x to the 5th minus 3. Okay, so this is going to look like 4 times 4x to the 5th minus 3 cubed, and then the derivative of this 4x to the 5th minus 3, that's going to be 4 times 5 is 20x to the 4th minus 0. Okay, so let's look at another one. Okay, so this one, same idea. Before we actually get started doing the derivative, we probably need to rewrite because whenever we see powers of x in the denominator, the first thing I always do is I rewrite those. So, so we have x minus 3 halves x to the negative 2 plus x cubed, and this is all raised to the fifth power. Okay, so pause the video and see if you can do the derivative of this and then with, without guidance and then come back and, and see what the answer is. Okay, so you're back. So here I have the worked out solution here. So my inside function is the stuff here that's inside those parentheses. I'm going to call my derivative dw dx. I'm going to start by just doing the power rule. So I have 5, that inside function stays the same, raised to the fourth power, and I'm multiplying by the derivative of the inside. So this part here, 
This is just a notation for derivative of that inside function. Okay, so I have 5, here's my inside raised to the 4th times the derivative of the inside, derivative of x is the 1, the derivative of the negative 3 halves x to the negative 2, the 2's will cancel and I have a negative and a negative so that makes a positive, so I have plus 3x to the negative 3, derivative of x cubed is 3x squared. Okay, so let's look at one where we have multiple rules. And this particular example is a double chain rule. So before I actually get started taking the derivative, I'm going to do my rewrite. Whenever I see roots, I need to remember to rewrite those as powers of, um, as a power. So we have t squared plus 4t minus 1 raised to the 1 half power, and this is all raised to the 10th power. Okay, now notice here that I have this inside function inside the parentheses, but also in a sense I have a second inside function. This 4t minus 1, that gives us another um, level in our chain rule. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, so we're just going to go step by step in this. So g prime of t. So first we're going to just deal with the outside function. We're going to start on the outside and gradually work our way in. So I'm going to have 10 times that thing to the ninth. So I have this t squared plus 4t minus 1 raised to the 1 half. And then I'm going to multiply by the derivative of that inside function. So I have t squared plus 4t minus 1 to the 1 half. Okay, so this part I've completed, but I'm still working on this part here. I'm still working on this. Okay, now. So we're going to copy this first part down. 10 t squared plus 4t minus 1 raised to the 1 half power, all raised to the ninth power. Now here, I'm going to use big brackets. I have to take the derivative of my inside. The derivative of this first term, super easy. That's just 2t, right? Okay. Now, when I go to take the derivative of this part, I have another inside. So this here, this 4t minus 1, that is our new inside. So we're going to have to do the chain rule on that thing again. Okay, so here we go. We're going to have um, 1 half taking the derivative of the outside, times that 4t minus 1, to the negative 1 half, but we need to multiply by the derivative of that inside function. So our inside function this time is that 4t minus 1. Okay, so we're almost done here. I'm going to have to copy this down. Okay, so this one half part stays the same. I have 4t minus 1 to the negative one half. And then I just have to complete this last little part here. The derivative, actually it shouldn't be ddx, it should be ddt. So these x's need to be dt's. That's a big oops. Okay, so the derivative of this 4t minus 1, that is just 4. So there's our derivative of that one. Okay, so now with this one, um, I have g of t, and I can see from the 
top um, description here it says combining multiple rules so I'm probably going to need to use multiple rules um, but let's try to figure out what multiple rules so my g of t looks like it has um, two different parts to it we've got this part here and that is being multiplied by this part here okay so the, those two are being multiplied so the first thing I'm going to think about using is that product rule okay now when I go to take the derivative of each part we're going to have to use the power rule and that chain rule okay on each part okay so let's go ahead and get started on this so my derivative is going to be called g prime of t okay so I'm going to uh, write out the, the every little step here so we're going to have d dt so I'm going to take the derivative of the first so that's going to be t squared minus 3 squared times the second so that's 4 minus 5t squared to the fifth power plus the first that's that t squared minus 3 squared times the derivative of the second so d dt of that second function so that is going to be 4 minus 5t squared raised to the fifth power okay so that's our plan so basically what we did there was we used the the chain or not the chain rule we used the product rule and the product rule says that when we're taking the derivative of two functions that are multiplied we take the derivative of the first times the second plus the first times the derivative of the second okay so now let's go ahead and, and get working on those derivatives okay so here we have the derivative of that first so I'm gonna have to use the power rule on that so that's gonna be 2 times t squared minus 3 but I need to multiply by the derivative of the inside notice that I don't have an exponent on this thing and the reason why is because when I do 2 I'm gonna have t squared minus 1 to the 2 minus or t squared minus 3 to the 2 minus 1 so that exponent is 1 so I can just leave it off okay so now here I've got the derivative of that t squared minus 3 I've got the 4 minus 5 t squared raised to the fifth power plus here I just have the t squared minus 3 squared and now I'm going to multiply by the derivative of that second term so the derivative of the second term we're going to use the power rule we're going to have 5 times 4 minus 5t squared raised to the fourth power but I need to multiply by the derivative of my inside okay so we're this is going to be our final step here we have 2 I have the t squared minus 3 the derivative of this t squared minus 3 that's 2t and this is multiplied by the 4 minus 5t squared raised to the fifth plus okay here I'm just copying this down t squared minus 3 squared I have the 5 times 4 minus 5 t squared raised to the fourth power and then the last thing I have to do is multiply by the derivative of this 4 minus 5 t squared the 4 derivative 4 just gives us 0 so that's going to be negative 10 t so there's our derivative you could go through and multiply this out and in fact um, it probably would be better to take these constants um, or these individual factors and, and um, combine them so I'd have 4t times t squared minus 3 4 minus 5t squared to the fifth plus and then here I want to combine this 
with this. That's going to give us, actually, so we're not going to have plus, we're going to have minus here. So it's going to be minus 50t, and then I have t squared minus 3 squared times 4 minus 5t squared to the fourth. Okay, and there's our answer. Okay, one last problem. Okay, so in this one, we've got a power. So I, I'm thinking, okay, I'm probably going to have to use that power rule. And our inner function in the power is more complicated, so that means I'm going to have to use that chain rule. And when I go to take the derivative of my, ch my inside here, that's a quotient, so I'm going to need to use my quotient rule. So that's the order of our rules. Okay, so next let's look at the... Um, what we're going to call the derivative. We have w equals, so we're going to use the differential notation. It's going to look like dw, and our variable is x, so it's going to be dx. Okay, so we've decided that we're going to start with the power rule, so we're going to start with our outermost function. So we're going to have 3 times our inside function, so that's going to be 2x minus 9 over 3 x plus 1, and then we're using the power rule, so, power rule, so now this is going to be squared, and then I need to multiply by the derivative of that inside function. Okay, so we're going to have 3 times our inside function squared. And then I'm multiplying by the derivative of our inside. And on this part, I'm going to have to use the quotient rule. So I'm going to open a big fraction bar here. So with the quotient rule, remember with quotient rule, if you're taking the derivative of two functions that are being divided, you have f prime times g minus f g prime all over g squared. Okay, so let's go ahead and, and get working on this. So the derivative of our numerator, that's just going to be 2, times our denominator, that's 3x plus 1, minus our numerator, that's 2x minus 9, times the derivative of our denominator, and that's going to be 3. And this is all over 3x plus 1 squared. So you can give this as your answer, especially if you're asked not to simplify. But let's go ahead and, and just do it because um, it's generally a good practice. And this one isn't too bad. So that's it for more complicated examples of finding the derivative. The next video will probably be on um, finding derivatives of logs and exponentials.